Hi, this is James with another Ionic Tech Tip. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about rich text editing, which is something that is not um, relatively uh, available when you come to anything to do with the Ionic framework. Um, I have seen questions posed in many places, including myself. Is there a decent uh, rich text editor? Uh, yes, there are. Though there are several. Um, your mileage may vary as to how useful they are and how responsive they are. Uh, and also little things like such as you know where, where they start injecting iframes into your content, how uh, how useful that'll be, uh, how performant and uh, how dynamic that'll work across different devices, uh, interacting with the keyboard, all all that kind of stuff. Um, and also whether or not you need every single last function or you just need something a little bit more simple. Um, my use was of something relatively simple uh, just for writing articles, but I wanted uh, something that could be used from within the Ionic framework. Uh, I couldn't find anything, uh, so I have found uh, an ability to write one, which I'll just demonstrate here. So here is our Ionic rich text example. So this is a component, so I can see this is a component for writing rich text and uh, you can see it's repeat at the bottom i can highlight some of it i can bold it i can make it large i can make it uh, small i can centralize i think oh the centralize doesn't come out of the div tag but that's okay uh, i can uh, add a horizontal rule after the horizontal i can add a, an unodd list item one item two item x and then we'll just make that one underlined so you can do those kind of things there's a bunch of stuff on that's not on that that you could add if you so wish uh, such as color um, hyperlinks all that kind of good stuff but as you can see just for something that you just want to uh, knock out something relatively quickly um, you can do it um, and I'll show you the code that sits behind and it is backed up with the github account um, unlike most I'm not going to write this out uh, nakedly because there is quite a lot of code but I'll show the usage of it the implementation so from my home screen uh, you can see I've got an item form control and then I just declare it and make use of it uh, on the first screen and then I have uh, within my HTML I've got a new component that's been created called rich text and I'm just fastening a, uh, a property called form control item with that item so that is how I make use of it. And then that same font control has been linked to the div that you see just beneath, which is just this bit down here. So I'll just show you some of the code that's inside here. Um, I won't spend a huge amount of time on it, but you, just so you can get the idea. Um, you've got the main editor right here uh, with this magic uh, tab here, content editable equals true. Uh, this is what allows the actual area to be edited. So even if you did nothing else, you could have something that is similar to a, a regular text area. Um, I'm passing in a, a couple of properties so that I can make use of it from this side of the fence, from the actual uh, component itself. Uh, also, uh, I've got some uh, CSS uh, that's sat behind. I'll just show you the CSS real quickly. Uh, so there's some uh, there's some CSS tricks right here to, uh, for example, make the background dark and make the buttons white, all that kind of stuff. Um, you, once again, do whatever you like. You, you can uh, add your own buttons, and um, although I don't know how well it would work with regular uh, ion buttons, uh, I'm using just plain buttons as you can see. Um, right. So that is this side, and then just beneath here, you've got the button array. Uh, so things like bold, italic, underline. Once again, this is all declared within the HTML as opposed to uh, within the the TypeScript world. And I'll, I'll show you where we'll make use of that in a minute. But you get the idea. That that this is what the the the, the basic list is. You can add and remove to your heart's content. You can see the full list of them right here uh, on the Mozilla website. Fantastic list. Uh, I've just gone for the ones that were useful to me. Uh, okay, so. This is the rich text component itself, and uh, this is the what I'm using as the constructor. Uh, when I'm wiring up three different events, wire up resize, update item, and wire up buttons. I'll just talk you through these three very quickly. So wire up resize. Uh, what this will do is this will make the text area the size it needs to be depending on the uh, device size so if it's a tall device if it's a wide device so a tablet or a phone for example uh, so if I scrunch this right up and then just do a refresh 
you can see that this area is much smaller. Um, it's not dynamic uh, in, in that respect. You can certainly make it dynamic if you so wish, for example, making it landscape or portrait, uh, or you can certainly fiddle with the maths that I've got behind this as well uh, to make it uh, even more flush with what's required, uh, along with other things, for example, having this uh, array of buttons at the top instead of the bottom. It's entirely up to you. Uh, this was just my attempt at it. So why it resize? The next one, update item. So this will take the original, uh, well, first we get the element, which is referring to uh, here. And then after that, it will take the actual form control item. So this is the actual form control that we're passing into this. It'll take the value and, and insert it into here. Um, it does have a little clause on here as well, just in case the element is null or just an empty string, it will add an empty div. Uh, you basically need to have something in there. Uh, otherwise, I had problems trying to click in the box. It wouldn't allow me to do it. Uh, I've got a little function that just simply updates the original form control item with uh, something back from here. And then I wire up these particular events. So on change, on key up, on paste, on input, it will just update the item uh, every time. Uh, it seems to work really well with these four. Uh, then finally, I wire up all the buttons. So this bit's uh, probably worth mentioning. On the left here, you can see we have our array of buttons and we have this data command, uh, such as bold, italic, underline, and then we've got over here all the actual different symbols. Uh, you can certainly use font awesome for these if you so wish, it's entirely up to you. I've just gone for plain text just for now. Um, but what it'll do is it'll actually make use of these particular commands, uh, including the pipe six here, for example, which is the large font. Uh, and all it does, it goes around each one of the buttons, uh, adds on a click event, and then it will exec command. So all this will do is this will fire whichever one of these that we so wish, uh, such as bold, for example, with whatever text is currently highlighted. So that's where we can do, you know, A, B, C, D, F. Highlight that text, press B, and now it's bolded. So that's all it does, and it's clever enough to unassociated later on if, if required so uh, there's a lot of browser uh, effort there uh, i found this to work really really well with ios and android there's the only two i've really tested on uh, android 6 point something although i think it'll work all the way back to I, um, android 4.2 or 4.1 um, please let me know if it doesn't but uh, yeah that, that's the basics of it uh, this is the ability of having a rich text editor in ionic